to The Fitterist Show with your host, Christopher Allen, where we explore the art of mind and body conditioning. Icon Health and Fitness, the parent company of fitness brands such as Nordatrack, Proform, and Free Motion, has secured a new $200 million funding round. These funds will be used to accelerate Icon's growth strategy within the fitness industry. Next, we'll discuss consumer health care platform Row, that has announced availability of a new and unique weight management drug called Planity. Finally, startup Jax Jox secured new funding to further their vision of a smart, personalized home gym platform. We'll take a look at this latest entrant into the increasingly crowded artificial intelligence-powered home fitness space. So, let's dive in. Icon Health and Fitness, which is one of the leaders in design and distribution of connected fitness equipment and software, announced a $200 million growth investment round led by Elk Catterton, which is one of the biggest global consumer-focused private equity firms. Now, Icon owns brands that include Nordatrack, Proform, and Freemotion, some of the biggest names in the home fitness. And all of these offer connected fitness membership services powered by iFit, the immersive live and on-demand streaming fitness and wellness media platform. Now, with revenue exceeding a billion dollars over the past 12 months, Icon is one of the only companies that creates connected fitness equipment and experiences across multiple brands. So think Peloton that does it across Peloton, whereas Icon does it across multiple different product categories and different consumer fitness segments. Now, this investment will just help to accelerate Icon's growth strategy of delivering on an interactive fitness product connected again, woven together by its iFit platform. Now, Icon has about 700,000 paid subscribers to its iFit platform, and iFit is enjoyed both in the home, at the gym, and on the go. So they've got a mobile app that allows Icon's diverse range of products connectivity through iFit. No doubt part of this funding round was aided by Peloton's huge success in the at-home fitness space. So Scott Watterson, who was the chairman and CEO of Icon, said that health and fitness have never been more important to consumers globally, and we are seeing explosive growth across our subscription software and fitness equipment business. We saw this fast-growing demand going into 2020, and it's only accelerated sharply as people's desire to stay healthy has intensified. And so they are looking to further strengthen their position in connected fitness, deliver on their mission to help consumers of all the different demographics and fitness levels go after their health and fitness goals. And like I said earlier, Icon's not a small company. It's a billion-dollar company. It is a global health and fitness leader. Again, they own Nordatrack, Proform, Freemotion, iFit, and they're a 43-year-old company that has delivered in the space for decades. Icon and iFit currently hold more than 330 technology patents, 80 additional patents pending, and Icon products are in 116 countries iFit workouts are streamed in English, Spanish, French, and Mandarin Chinese with more languages planned in 2021. So Icon, looking to take that $200 million and continue its growth strategy, it's worth noting L. Catterton, which is a big investment private equity firm. They've been invested in Icon for a while, and they're looking to help turbocharge their growth plans and really look to grow that iFit subscriber base. That is going to be a key metric going forward as Icon continues its growth trajectory. And in our next news story... Ro, R-O, is a patient-driven telehealth company that is looking to be the patient's first call for their health care needs. They've jumped on the telemedicine bandwagon and using technology Ro empowers physicians to provide high-quality, affordable care when and where patients need it most. So Roe powers three digital health clinics. 
There's Roman for men's health, Rory, R-O-R-Y, for women's health, and Zero for smoking cessation programs. And in what could be the first step in the development of a significant new line of business for Roe, the company is announcing the general commercial availability of the weight loss product called Plenity. What is Plenity, you ask? Well, it's developed by a company called Jalesis, which is a biotech company that makes treatments for gastrointestinal disorders. And Plenity is a weight loss treatment that uses a combination of citric acid and cellulose to create basically a non-toxic paste that makes people feel more full after taking the pill. So you take this before meals and the pill as it digests becomes a substance that expands in your gut, in your stomach to take up about 25% of the stomach space. So you end up eating less. Pretty interesting approach. Now, if you follow the Fitter show at all, Jaleesus puts out a couple of interesting obese stats that you'll probably be familiar with, but about two thirds of American are either overweight or obese based on BMI, almost 2 billion adults globally have overweight and 600 million have obesity issues. In addition, there's over 30 health conditions that are linked to increased risk due to obesity. So they've taken an approach in the form of plenity to try to help to curb obesity. So in the United States, the TAM, the total available market for the product is about 150 million Americans, which is sad in one note, but I guess good for Roe and Jalesis on the other. The product, Plenity, has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to treat both people who are overweight and obese. So again, that total market is about 150 million Americans. Interestingly enough, when they received the FDA approval, which was in April, Plenity is actually classified as a medical device and not a drug, which is kind of interesting. But Roe saw the opportunity to do a deal with Jalesis, and the company now, Roe, is the exclusive online provider of Plenity treatment, and there is a lot of potential interest in this deal. In their approach to curb obesity, obviously they're looking to help also prevent downstream corollary impacts, things like heart failure, strokes, coronary, heart disease, hypertension, depression. And as the exclusive online provider of this treatment, Roe has developed, again, they're a telemedicine company, so everything's online. And they've developed an onboarding process to help ensure that Plenity does not get abused by people that are suffering from things like eating disorders. As an example, one of the things they do during their onboarding process is they not only ask questions about weight management, eating behavior, types of food and diet, you also have to upload a consecutive set of images to, again, be visible to the doctor, the person who's providing service to ensure that Plenity is getting into the hands of the right people. Like most of the other treatments that Roe offers, Plenity is a cash pay prescription because weight loss is not typically covered by insurance. But the partnership between Roe and Jalesis was probably a good beneficial one because Jalesis had the drug, Plenity drug, and Roe had an online user base and an online direct-to-consumer presence. So, Putting the consumer as the focus, which is what Roe really tries to do, the treatment only costs $98 per month compared to other therapies or medications that could be as much as three to $350 per month. And the one reason that they're able to do that is that Jalesis is able to provide a lower cost for the plenity drug to Roe because they don't have to hire a sales force to pitch it to doctors. They're going direct to consumers so they can lower the price because Roe brings that consumer base. You don't have to hire a sales force, go door to door, talk doctors into potentially trying it. Roe can make it available through doctors and providers on their online platform and make it available to a broad audience. 
So we'll see how they do. It's an interesting approach to weight loss management, but it looks like a pretty interesting partnership for Jalesis and Roe. And in our third news story today, Jack's Jocks, a startup fitness technology company known for its innovative workout equipment and platform, announced a $10 million Series A funding round with Dowgate Capital and Nigel Ray, bringing their total funding raised to date to $17 million. And this funding is directly going to be used in the R&D of the Jack's Jocks Jax Jox Interactive Studio, which will ship to customers before the end of the year, before it starts to go global. This interactive studio is the first fitness platform to combine connected strength training equipment with live and on-demand content, while also enabling users to track their own performance in real time during classes. And the company also announced an exclusive retail partnership with Best Buy. Customers can get the fitness studio installed by Best Buy's Geek Squad. So, what is this fitness system? Well, it consists of a 43-inch touchscreen TV. It can display fitness classes, data about your performance. The screen rotates both horizontally and vertically, so you get a portrait, horizontal mode. And it also tilts if you're doing floor exercises and you need to look up. But Jack's Jocks is not just about cardio. The system, and this is its key differentiator, has integrated smart dumbbells and a smart kettlebell, both configurable for different weights that also report performance data. There's also a smart push-up device and a vibrating massaging foam roller. All of these also integrate with Apple's Health Kit and will integrate in the future with Google Fit. That's probably coming in a couple of months. The Interactive Studio also measures something called your Fitness IQ score. And this is a score that's generated by artificial intelligence and includes data on peak and average power during your workout, your heart rate, workout consistency, steps, body weight, and the fitness level you've chosen to attain. So what seems to be the key differentiators are the dumbbells and a kettlebell. But we'll go into a little bit more detail in a minute. This interactive studio is targeted to be released by the end of 2020. There's not really any plans for a treadmill or cycle. Their strategy is really to allow customers to kind of bring their data to one integrated tech platform. Of course, they favor Jack's Jock's platform. So good luck with that because you've got Tonal, Mirror, Peloton, lots of players in the space. Jax Jocks also said that they will offer an outdoor running component eventually. What's the price of this thing? Well, it's $2,199 for the hardware and the base unit, plus your industry standard $39 a month subscription. So just like with all the others, Peloton, etc., it's required for 12 months, so your total all-in, well, I shouldn't say all-in, your total one-year cost is $2,667 plus installation, taxes, etc. But what do you get for the $39 a month subscription? Well, they're calling it their Interactive Studio All-Access Membership. Sounds pretty fancy. But it gives you all access to experience all of the Interactive Studio classes the iOS and Android app, unlimited live and on-demand classes, workout programs, multi-user, so you can have up to six people per household that can share the same membership. It's kind of a smart idea. Fitness IQ score, as I mentioned earlier, real-time performance tracking, interactive personal training with Jack's Jock's coaches. You get advanced analytics, personalized workout recommendations, friendly competition with live class leaderboards. That's stolen from Peloton, the good clone. <laughs> you also get working out with friends, which is coming soon, and scheduling so you can schedule your workouts and get reminders. So when you listen to this, it seems like Jack Jocks is coming into a pretty crowded space. You've got Tonal, you've got Mirror, you've got Tempo. But 
the Jax Jocks CEO is pretty confident that they have a differentiated solution. The weights that Jax Jocks uses adjust with a push of a button that happens instantly. The dumbbell connect goes from 8 to 50 pounds per dumbbell, and the kettleball connect is 12 to 42 pounds. So the total weight for the whole interactive studio is about 145 pounds. So he feels that they have the first true connected home gym that caters to strength, functional training, cardio, and recovery. And the equipment that they use has the connected technology built right into the dumbbells and kettleballs, which gives the user freedom to move as they please. You don't have to stand at a specific point or certain distance from the screen to get tracking information or form correction. So they claim that their members have the ability to work out wherever and still have the connected experience and not be tied to a specific location. And when Jax Jocks looks to the future, they believe that they've got a very bright future because obviously COVID has accelerated the at-home movement of fitness, but this trend is likely to continue well past the pandemic. People have used gym memberships as their main way of staying in shape and home workouts as a supplement, but they believe that it might actually flip-flop and the home gym might become the main way to work out and going to the gym might become supplementary. They're also looking at developing a virtual group training experience on the platform so other members, even family members, friends can work out together in the comfort of their own home. And they say this feature is rolling out in 2021. Their technology allows them to kind of serve personalized recommendations to their members. The data that people have access to is important and they are looking to take that data into both the Apple Health Kit and Google Fit so that the user has a better understanding of their overall health by using the data along with other health app integrations to educate people on all of the contributing factors to their overall health and wellness. So they have a good solution as an inter interactive fitness center and experience, but they're looking to enhance that experience and give the user a more robust picture of their overall health. So while Jax Jax is relatively small and they just secured 10 million, and they're competing with some big heavyweight companies that are securing 200 public companies like Peloton that have a lot of funding and capital. But Jax Jax is an interesting approach and we'll keep an eye on how they do, track their progress as they go forward in time. That's it for this week. We'll talk to you next week. With that, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to The Fitterist Show. You can follow us on Instagram at Fitterist Mind Body and on Twitter at Fitterist Mind. If you enjoyed this episode, please send it to a friend or subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future episodes of The Fitterist Show. My name is Christopher Allen, and make it a magical day.